Hola hermosas, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Les extrañé demasiado. So in today's video, we're kind of going a little bit off the grid and we're not doing a makeup tutorial or like a beauty specific video, but it is beauty related because I wanted to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails and I wanted to show you guys how to edit thumbnails the beauty guru way. That's kind of what I call it because when I was starting out my YouTube channel, I used to always look up like how to edit your thumbnails, how do beauty gurus do their thumbnails, how to make the makeup products like be on the screen like this. So I want to make this video like step by step how to do like the typical beauty guru thumbnails have products be on your thumbnail what to put how to take the photos the best apps to use like we're just gonna do a little rundown and I hope this video is super helpful for you guys because I know when you're first starting out your channel you want to make sure you have the best thumbnails so definitely if someone sees this in the recommended list or on the home page they're definitely gonna want to click on it because it looks good it looks clean organized eye-catching professional so i'm just going to show you guys the way that i do my thumbnails i'm still learning every single day how to improve my thumbnails how to make it more eye-catching sometimes i try different themes and different techniques and i always compare like okay i did this thumbnail on this video and i did a different thumbnail on this video which one did better? Which one got more views? Was it because of the thumbnail or was it because of the content? But if you guys have questions about what I did or anything like that, you feel like I didn't explain it that well, definitely leave it down below or you guys can DM me on Instagram and I'll help you guys out. I'll even, if you want me to do a practice, one of my followers and we can make like a whole video about it where you guys send me your thumbnails and I'll edit them for you. So that sounds actually really fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new so you guys can join the familia. And yeah, let's just get right into this tip video. All right, so the two websites that I love to use the most are PicMonkey and Canva. So I'm going to show you guys PicMonkey first. This is like an OG website that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with because this is just what everybody used to use back in the day to edit on Facebook and all that stuff. So there's like a lot of new options. You can now make collages. You can touch up a photo. I basically like to go to the design section and I go to custom size and I do 1920 by 1080 because that is the size of a YouTube thumbnail. So it's perfect because you don't have to worry about it not fitting on the screen or being rejected by YouTube. So once you're on there, there's all of these different types of tools that you can use. You can add text, you can add graphics, well, what does that say? Uh, textures, themes, and templates. I mainly just use the graphics and the effects section, so we'll get back to that in a second. Um, but this is basically the website that I use when I want to make the product stand out on the screen. So the other website that I like is Canva, which it's free, but if you want to have certain upgrades, you do have to pay for it. So if you just want to, you know, do the basic editing, you can do it for free. But as you can see, there's like a whole section called social media, which already has pre-made templates, pre-made sizes, pre-made designs for different social media posts. So you don't have to worry about it not fitting onto the social media platform you're trying to upload this to. So I always go to the YouTube thumbnail section and then on there there's already pre-made thumbnails that you can choose from which is super super nice. Um, there's like different sections. There's like a beauty YouTube thumbnail. So all the thumbnails in that section are kind of like girly and cute. There's a travel YouTube thumbnail and then if you want, you can either use those pre-made templates or you can just kind of create your own based off of them because some of them do cost a dollar, like this one, for example. If you want to remove the waterwork, it's one dollar. And I think it's that's, that's like a one-time fee that you just have to pay. So yeah, that's pretty much the website that I love to use. I'll always start with PicMonkey first and then I'll move on to Canvas. All right, so I always get asked how to add products onto the screen and it's kind of a simple process. So you just want to go to Google. You can Google Maybelline foundation or any product, but you always want to make sure you add the word PNG to the end of it because that's going to make sure that their product is transparent background. So as you can see, that's not transparent, but that one is. Anything that has like a diced weird little background like that means it's transparent. So when you put it onto a photo, like onto your thumbnail, you don't have to worry about erasing the background. So you can just drag that onto your desktop. As you can see, this one is also PNG because it has the weird background, so you don't gotta worry about anything. So then you just head over to PicMonkey, you go to the butterfly that is graphics, and you just upload the PNG makeup shot that you just saved onto your desktop. And you can size it down, you can make it bigger, you can kinda do whatever you want, but 
I like to go to the basic edits part and then I go to canvas color and I click on transparent canvas which also makes the rest of the screen be PNG. So then you go to effects, you go to draw and you can choose whatever color you want and I always like to make the brush size the biggest possible and then I drag down the hardness. The hardness is basically what defines how glowy and like neon it is. Um, the harder it is, the harsher the light is going to be and then obviously like the less harder it is, it's going to be more of like the soft glow. So I'm kind of making this super ugly right now because I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video but you can obviously make it look nicer and a little bit prettier but that's pretty much how people add neon backgrounds, not even neon but just color to the back of the products or any type of stickers or graphics that people put on their thumbnails. So it's pretty easy, you know there's another website that makes it a little bit easier but you have to like download like an extension to use it so that's kind of a hassle with PicMonkey, you don't have to do anything like that so. Yeah, that's pretty much how I add the neonness that I always have on all the back of my products. And then when you save it, you just save it as a PNG, obviously. You move over to Canva, you upload it, and this is how you can start adding the graphics onto your thumbnail by making it look like a sticker. So, as you can see, it's already on the thumbnail. You just kind of have to crop it however you want it to fit. And that's pretty much how you can just add it onto your thumbnail. You can make it bigger, smaller. I don't really like to do this that often just because I feel like I don't have a good place to put them on my thumbnails. I'll only do it if I'm doing like a makeup review or something like that. I'll just put whatever product I'm reviewing on the screen but yeah that's pretty much how you just do that part. Okay, so adding text to the screen is also pretty simple. So this is the way that I do it. First, I go to elements, I click on the square, and I kind of just shorten it and make it a little bit slimmer so that my text can fit inside that white box. Then when you go to text, there's all these pre-made kind of text options that you can choose from, which I really, really love because that way all of your thumbnails can have one theme by all having the same type of text and lettering. I like to use this one. I think the text is called, uh, what is it called? Montserrat. So... It's monster and it's bolded so I'm just gonna go and type in that font and basically what you put in your thumbnail you want to make sure it's related to what your video is so that way YouTube can read it better and recommend it to people more so since my video is about how I edit thumbnails that's what I'm going to title it and I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that way it's on two lines and then you can kind of just shift things around to make sure that the title is what's popping out the most obviously so when people see it on the recommended they're going to be most likely to click on it because they're going to obviously look at the thumbnail first and I think thumbnails are such a good first impression to have people click on your video so you want to make sure it's centered and then I just drag the square over it and I just kind of make it fit to where the lettering is so that way the black lettering doesn't get lost in the black screen so yeah that's pretty much how I just do my lettering and my text there's so many different tools and options that you can do to make your you know titles pop out more to make it look more interesting but I like to stick to the white and black theme I just feel like it looks more aesthetically pleasing on my Instagram or on my YouTube feed um, but yeah that's pretty much how I add the text to the screen Okay, so one of my favorite things is adding decorations. You guys know I love to add sparkles and like glitter and stars to like anything that I do in life. So first you go to elements and then you just type in whatever you want to add on. So I want to add some sparkles. There's a bunch of different sparkle options that you can choose from. Some of them are free, some of them are not. But like I said, I think it's only like a dollar. So sometimes I don't mind paying for it just because if like I feel like I need it in the photo, then I'll just pay the dollar. So it doesn't really matter, but... I just think that adding decorations to the screen is such a personal touch like I feel like all my thumbnails always have sparkles or stars or glitter on it and they're always like white or depending on the theme of the photo sometimes I'll change up the color as you can see you can change it but like I said I like all of my thumbnails to kind of be white and black right now like I'm really into that theme of having it look all aesthetically matching so I love to add the sparkles onto the screen I kind of just add it to wherever I feel like it's empty or where I feel 
it needs some decorations and then yeah I just kind of shift things around figure out what looks best I just try to make sure it doesn't look too cluttered so right now it looks a little bit cluttered so I'm gonna move things around maybe delete things um, you don't always have to have all the products on the screen I mean it depends if you're doing like a makeup review then I think adding the product to the screen is important so people can see what you're reviewing but for regular makeup tutorials I just wouldn't recommend it because it can look a little bit cluttered Okay you guys, so this is the final result of the thumbnail. As you guys can see, I shifted so many things around. I kind of just added the sparkles to where I felt like there was some empty screen space. I also added some sparkles to the edges of the title so that the title would kind of stand out a little bit more and sparkle obviously. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I kind of just played with the photo a lot and I think it looks really, really nice. It's all very bright and white and I just feel like it fits the rest of my photos really nicely on my Insta or my YouTube. So once you save it, you always want to save it as a PNG. And then this is a really good tip that I had no idea was a thing until one of my subscribers actually DM'd me on Instagram. And she was like, girl, like the way you save your thumbnails on your Instagram is the way that it's notifying her on YouTube when I upload a video. So I would save it as something stupid as like thumbnail one or like photo. And she's like, when I would get notified about your videos, it would show up like how you title it on your computer. So now I always go in and I change the titles of the document something related to the video so I'll either do it like how I edit my thumbnails how to edit thumbnails something related to the video so yeah that's pretty much how I edit my thumbnails you guys I hope you really enjoyed this video if you have any questions or you feel like I didn't explain anything well please let me know down below or you can just DM me on Instagram so I can help you guys out but yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up por favor if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you guys are new to the familia and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, hermosas.